Um, role playing is obviously so critical in the world of uh, just overcoming the just the barriers of discomfort that general people have. However, I as much as I role play, I always have uh, the individuals who are like, "Oh my God, he's doing it again." So I know it's a matter of that's what we got to do. Any on helping those individuals, you know, get comfortable with role playing because it, it, it's a necess, it's, it's a necessary evil, and it shouldn't be evil at all. It it should be fun. It's a break from just the day to day task, frankly. So yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of how you position that. Well, I would sell them on it. <laughs> so uh, I do the same thing as uh, put them through like uh, first catch them in a state of re rapport, right? You know, chit chat with them a little bit and ask them the questions. It's like so what are your biggest goals you want to accomplish while you're working with us? Right. Here are their goals. I want to earn money for college. I want to use this and eventually open up my own studio. I want to do this. What are, Hey, what are some of your goals outside of work? And here's some of their goals. And one of the things I like to do with, with sales, especially is I'll, when our people come in, our big thing is I want our staff to, um, I want to develop our staff as people, not just employees. Uh, some of you might have been on the flywheel. I, I, I gave a message last uh, week at a um, franchise conference, and it was about developing your staff. And so when they come in and say, I want, I want to develop you as people, our managers, I hound that on them is I want them giving some kind of personal growth, some kind of topics at our staff meetings beyond just what the, the, the work environment is. You know, I understand not everybody's going to work with us forever. And so I want to play a role in helping our people move on after our job. I want to give them skills that are going to help them after our, our work, not just what's going to help them do well here. And sales is one of those big ones. And so when I really dig into what their goals are, I try to relate sales back to how it's going to help their individual goals. So if they want to you know, become a doctor or a business owner or whatever, there's always a way, sales is everywhere, whether you're a parent or you have to sell an idea, you know, if they're an engineer, great, you can know all your engineering stuff, but when you go to school for being an engineer, they're not going to teach you any sales skills and you still have to be able to sell your work on there. And so I try to tie it to their specific goals and that helps them get through some of those uncomfortable things because then I, I, I get with their goals, I tie the sales and then I say, okay, some of the things we're going to do to help you get there are role play, are the staff meetings, are, you know, answering these questions that I said are digging in with me after you have a sale and after you have a no sale, whatever it is. But I want to find out again, it's what's in it for them. But I, I basically, I sell them on it. It's I build rapport. I ask them the questions. I find out where my product or service is and my product or service as an owner or manager is the job. That's my product or service. And so I'm asking them, my salespeople questions to set up how this job is going to benefit them. And as my goal as an owner is to provide a job that not only provides a benefit of just income, right? That they can work in the industry they like, because if that's all you offer, they'll, you know, eventually another industry job that pays more money will come around. So what other, what other value are you giving your people that is going to keep them around a lot longer? So long, long answer to a shorter question, Brian, but well, that's why we're also investing in your training. 